Hello, Sunshine here, bringing you Tilt Brush. I'm going to jump right in with this non-live commentary. I will bring up my Vive controls. I have your tools and the, uh, I guess, all-purpose tool. You can see you can point with one to the other. I just had the eraser on. And here's a basic uh, brush paint. And you can brush freely in all three dimensions. You can even walk around. I've got a little, uh, little uh, area to walk around in. So, I've made a little really badly drawn 3D figure. I will now erase it. Uh, sorry for not doing this live, but I just kind of did this. Now I will erase... I was trying to erase the environment, but I thought that was how to do it, but of course not. What I really need... Oh yes, I dropped the controller right there. <laughs> so what I really need is that trash can. Clear the sketch. Yes! I go through this pretty quick. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is demonstrate how neat I think it is to be able to draw. So I will first draw a doorway of a house around my actual stature. So it goes up, and over, and down, and then I will stand in the middle of it, like so, and ooh, cool, it's life-size. But here's where things get interesting. I will now do pan and tilt, which is using the side buttons, you press both, and you can shrink stuff down and move it around. And now, the doorway is as big as the controller, so that's pretty cool. I will now draw the rest of the house much easier, rather than doing it in a whole room, which I wouldn't have room for anyway. So, simply draw all the uh, sides of the house. This is a quick sketch, obviously, you know, I'm not too concerned about square walls and such. <clears throat> So a little simple wireframe here, and now I'll make a nice simple roof. Again, this is a miniature. I already drew the doorway to my height. So now I will zoom back in, put it on the ground, and look at that. I can walk right into my sketch. Isn't that cool? That's just that's just the start of this. I mean, that that's a brief introduction to what's going on here. So, uh, yeah. So I was kind of amazed by this. Uh, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, oh, I think I'm trying to... Uh, yeah, I'm pointing out the um, the invisible walls that you can't see, but I can see with my helmet. It's a grid that tells you exactly what your limit is. The square on the ground also tells you roughly what the thing is. And now I'm shrinking it down so I can do some more stuff with it. In fact, I will paint in the walls. I decide to use the paper brush and paint a nice brown color. So I will start painting. First I decide on a wide brush, but I decide that's not very good. You can just as easily adjust by sliding there on that controller. And paint yourself some paper walls, which has a nice texture and 3D thing to it. And so I will now continue with the rest of the walls. Um, one thing I noticed, which I will demonstrate shortly, is when you resize, uh, your paintbrush size uh, tries to match the size that you've zoomed into. Uh, presumably to keep things as even as possible when you change dimensions and then paint more. I'll show it to you shortly and uh, I'll point it out. So, but this is just uh, filling in the textures real real uh, roughly just to give you an idea how this kind of thing works. Because I thought it was really cool that you could zoom and pan and tilt. And so you could just as easily start with a real small sketch and then zoom in and, and enjoy it. And so I wanted to do a little demo, and this is my demo. I just kind of recorded it on a whim and then wanted to do the commentary, which is not live. <clears throat> and now that we've done the walls, uh, I noticed that it's kind of weird, but oh well. I'll do a nice white roof. And there we go, up and down. And yeah, I'm painting it in three dimensions. That's also kind of cool. You know, uh, since it's slanted away from me, I had to, you know, arch my hand, arch my arm and, and move it out. And here I'm zooming out to make it a little bit easier to paint. Uh, right about now is where I'm going to notice that zooming out gives me a different brush uh, size. Oh yeah, here I'm demonstrating the small brush size that I zoom in, and it's a bigger brush size. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I imagine it's limited in some way, shape, or form, but I'll set that aside for now. That's the third roof uh, slat, and here's the fourth one. Do, 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 do. And just like that, I am done painting a whole house that is bigger than me for all intents and purposes. And I decide I want a window. I want to see if I can erase part of the wall. If there, oh, and then I lost tracking there. If there is a way to do it, I don't know how, but that just takes away the entire thing. So undo. Yes, it's back. So 
now we have our house. And I decide I want a door, so I'm going to use the light brush, but then I discover that white is far too bright. <laughs> Look at that. That looks really bright, doesn't it? That's pretty cool. I, I like the whole tilt brush. Um, I like the way it's set up these days. It's kind of cool. I tried to draw over it, but realized it's a bad idea, so I just go ahead for the... What did I do? Undo? Yes. Okay. So now we'll draw the doorway in red like the rest of it, although it's a slightly different red, but let's set that aside. Time to, oh, and then I noticed the paintbrush picker because I have no idea what it does. Oh, it whatever you point it at, it tells you what brush you used. Kind of cool. Uh, and then I noticed the teleport thing, so I decided to demonstrate that as well. I lose a little tracking here uh, with the video, but you don't see it, obviously. Then you see what the thing is. You click and teleport, and I've teleported, and now I'm far away, and then I teleport back. And I'm back. Uh, you can see, okay, no, the square is at the foot of the actual drawing. That square is where I started, and that's my uh, standing area. Anyway, so I'm looking at brushes now to paint the uh, door. Uh, I have some interesting ideas here and there, but uh, then I flip back to the first page, and has your more basic uh, brushes. I decide on oil paint and a nice yellow door, and then I go ahead and use that rather large brush for that, but oh well. I imagine I'm... Oh, okay. I zoom in. I decide to use the same size brush. Okay, there you go. So there you go. And then uh, I want to save it. So save to sketchbook. And then it wants a gallery icon, so I had to... I was kind of confused by that. I had to kind of zoom out a little bit. And, okay, there we go. And then it shifts it over to your hand, and then you say yes. And then it kind of falls to the floor. It's really neat effects. I like what they did with it. And then I load my old sketch. Load a previous sketch I've done. And it actually, I didn't notice the quick load, but it will draw the, it will draw it for you as you as you did. And I will demonstrate zooming some more. It's a campfire, and so that's your basic campfire size. And then I move over to the spiral thing. I drew these spirals at different zoom levels. The first one was the first big one was at normal, and then I zoomed in and drew around the thing, and then I zoomed in even more and drew drew through those uh, other things, other rings. I'm kind of talking it uh, as I'm going. Anyway, now I will zoom in on the campfire. Oh, I'm trying to get over to the campfire and I'm having a hard time with it. There. And I wanted to stand right next to the campfire when I'm real small, and then... Shrink it back down, I think. Yes. Shrink it back down. And then I put my tool below it to show how small it is. That's pretty cool. And now back to, and then I, for some reason, I don't know what happened there, but I had to click to get off the uh, zooming thing. Well, I don't, what am I doing there? I don't know what I'm doing there. Anyway. Uh, so now I'm gonna go back to the other sketch. And again, I don't know about the quick loading. You can go ahead and do that, but uh, it will go ahead and draw. It draws the uh, figure, and then I'm like, "Oh, okay. Well, I can walk into my house now." Again, since I have a limited space to work with uh, as far as VR, I don't have much room to walk in, so I kind of wheel my way in there. <laughs> you can see a little bit of the grid on the ground there, so it's pretty cool. I drew this house, and I'm, now I'm standing in it. And I, sh I shrunk it to do it real quick. I thought that was really cool and I wanted to demonstrate that. So, bye-bye everyone. Thanks for watching.